Uh, it's time for the math easy solution to discuss further into integration of rational functions by partial fractions. And now we'll go over example one. Basically, it's going to be a quick example on this one right here. It says find the integral of x cubed plus x divided by x minus 1 and dx. Now in this integral, you notice that uh, the degree of the numerator, because there's an x cubed, yeah, x cubed versus, well, an x at the bottom, is greater than the degree of the denominator, so 3 to 1, then the rational function is improper. So we first need to use polynomial long division to break this down. So when we do that, uh, using polynomial long division, you can see my earlier video on, the, uh, on this method. So if we go x minus 1 divided into x3 plus x, but in this case there's no x squared, so we just go plus 0, then plus x. Yeah, now that we've set this up, so we have to find a number that uh, mul multiplies by x to get x cubed. So we go x squared multiplied by x, that's going to be, well, x cubed multiplied by minus 1, that's going to be, well, minus x squared. And now we subtract from this side, we get now, we'll subtract this x cubes cancel, so now we'll have a 0 minus a negative x squared, which is a plus x squared. Now we bring down this x plus x, and now we repeat the same thing. So now we need to get an x squared, so we multiply this x by x. So we get x squared multiplied by this negative 1 negative x. So now we subtract the x squared cancel. Now we have an x minus a negative x. That's going to be, well, x plus x to x right here. Now we do the same thing. So multiply this x to get 2x. That's just 2. <coughs> multiply it inside. We get now a, yeah, we get a 2x, but there's also this negative 1. So we have to, well, there's a negative 2 now, 2 times negative 1. And now we subtract right here and then we get well this 2x cancels and now we're left with a plus 2 and now we can't multiply this by anything to get 2 because that's an x there's no x here so this is the remainder so what this means is now we have our overall uh, fraction broken down so we have an x minus um, so we, go. we have now x squared plus x plus 2 Actually, whoops, this is the final answer. So we now we have an x3 plus x divided by x minus 1. Now this equals 2x squared plus x plus 2 and then plus the remainder. So the remainder is going to be 2 over x minus 1. So yeah, so once again, watch my earlier videos on polynomial long division in the video link below. So now that we have this, we're able to, well, solve this integral. So now there's an x cubed plus x x minus 1 dx. Now this, that equals 2, well, this whole right side. So this equals 2 integral of x squared plus x plus 2 plus 2 over x minus 1 dx right here. And now this, this right side here, we don't need to break this down any further because we could easily solve uh, this integral part. So what we get is equal to integral of x squared. That's just x cubed over 3 plus now x squared over 2, that's this one, now 2x is the integral. Now this integral here is just 2 times, well, ln x minus 1, now plus c. And I can see a proof of, the, of this uh, integral where it's ln, my video link below as well. So now this is our final answer. Now the only note I want to make is, well, in this example we only needed to perform polynomial long division and not uh, break the remainder into further partial fractions because we were able to solve the integral easily. We had a 2 over x minus 1. In later examples I will show how well we need to apply the techniques in partial fraction decomposition to enable us to solve the integral. So if this was a more complicated remainder we would need to break it down further. Well anyways that is all for today. Hopefully you learned from this quick example video and stay tuned for uh, further examples and further videos. Anyway, that's all for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for another math easy solution.